Wait, 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 wait. I got another one. We're gonna we're gonna watch this one together because this is kind of rad because I walked blocks in Georgia. I walked blocks in Georgia, y'all. Let's see what the whole thing says. Georgia's Democratic Senator is targeting Nancy Pelosi and her husband and every other cheating member of Congress. Um, by the way, okay. So not only did I walk blocks um, for John Ossoff, but I also did for Raphael Warnock, right? I flew out to Georgia last year um, with Unite Here under the Worker Power Pack. And I knocked on over a thousand doors while I was there to help flip the Senate. I did so with a face shield and a mask on. I did so following incredibly stringent COVID procedures. And um, that's who I'm working for now. That's what I'm doing in every day that I can, with that I physically can, and I'm not in excruciating pain from whatever the hell is going on with my body. That is what I do. So I'm exceptionally pleased that the effort that I put in on that particular race has resulted in this. Let me see if I can pull it back because it's hard to pause the, the videos on Facebook. They like, it is on YouTube too. They just kind of go and then you don't, you can't start at the beginning. So let's try and pull it back. <laughs> it never wants to go all the way back, y'all. All right, let's go. Their staff and their spouses from trading stock. Now, this is something that should already be in place. But amazingly, it's actually legal, even though members of Congress clearly have inside knowledge that others don't. And there's proof of that because of those that follow the markets, follow members of Congress to see what to do. And I'll get some more on that in a second. But first, hear from the New York Post. Georgia Senator John Ossoff is looking to introduce a bill that would ban members of Congress from trading individual stocks, a practice that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has defended as her husband rakes in millions of dollars trading shares of tech companies, the Post has learned. The Ossoff ethics bill, which the Democratic freshman senator plans to introduce once he finds a Republican co-sponsor, could crack down on conflicts of interest by making it illegal for lawmakers and their families to trade stocks while in office, a Washington, D.C. source cl close to the situation said. Let's be real, though. The New York Post covered this because they love Democratic infighting. And the liberal media... I'm assuming I'm assuming that's why David chose this source is because it actually got covered. I don't th actually I do think the liberal media did cover it because I think I I saw an article about this already about what John Ossoff was doing. So I just would you know say maybe it's not such a great idea to use <laughs> such a disreputable disre source David. There are other sources out there, I'm sure. It would also likely require lawmakers put their assets in blind trust, a step that the 34-year-old Asif completed himself months after being elected in January 2021. They didn't even used to do this shit on Facebook. This is a YouTube thing. All right, so something worth noting here. Ossoff is looking for a Republican co-sponsor, a Republican senator co-sponsor. <laughs> it's not going to happen. If he's going to wait for that, then this bill is never going to be introduced. Uh, I mean, maybe he'll get lucky and find somebody. If he's trying to get a, a Republican in the House, there's more of a chance of that happening, as a couple have come out against what Pelosi said, and I'll get to her comments in a minute. But this clearly is uh, a fantastic step in the right direction and something that should already be law, but clearly in opposition to what House Leader Nancy Pelosi said uh, recently. Now, a little more on what is currently allowed. So news of Ossoff's potential bill comes as Pelosi and other politicians from both parties catch flack for making millions trading stocks despite potentially being privy to insider information that can move markets. Current rules allow members of Congress and their families to trade stocks as long as they disclose the moves within 45 days, though dozens of lawmakers have failed to file the reports on time. So even under the very lax current rules, they are still not following the law. And this led to 
A big story in Business Insider here, at least 182 high-ranking congressional staffers have violated a federal com conflict of interest law oh, with over... It's hard to pause on Facebook. It's hard to pause on Facebook. But thank you so much for pulling in at least Business Insider. That's a better source than New York Post, dude. That's probably where I found out about it because I am, I'm actually on their email list. I get emails from them. New disclosure of their personal stock trades, which led to a question to Nancy Pelosi that I covered in this video. Nancy Pelosi defends the indefensible. I'll link to that uh, above and below the video on YouTube. But I go deeper into her comments there and everything around it. But she defends the fact that lawmakers and their staff and their spouses are allowed to trade stock while being privy to information that nobody, nobody else has. And to show you how ridiculous this is, you even have TikTokers trading stocks by copying what members of Congress do. So there are these, there's a whole community around following what members of Congress are doing and following them and to great success. So a uh, couple of comments here. Among a certain community of individual investors on TikTok, Nancy Pelosi stock trading disclosures are a treasure trove. Quote, shouts out to Nancy Pelosi, the stock market's biggest whale, said user CEO watch list. Another said have come to the conclusion that Nancy Pelosi is a psychic while adding that she is the queen of investing. Quote, she knew, declared Chris Josephs, analyzing a particular trade in Pelosi's financial disclosures. And you would have known if you had followed her portfolio. And just to be clear here, Pelosi's inv investor husband is the one that... By the way, Shahid... Buttar and Eric Curry, who are both running to challenge Nancy Pelosi. You should be taking advantage of this story. Uh, and for Shahid specifically, you should stop. You should, I, I don't know if you have, because I kind of got pissed off when you did this, but um, you should try and make amends with the LGBTQIA community because um, it's cool to attack individuals for their individual actions, but not an entire group of people for their identity and trying to blame it on their identity as being the problem. That is my words of advice to you as a marketing professional. It controls all of that. So which is why it's important to ban their spouses and not just members of Congress. But that also goes to a previous bill um, that does a little bit of what Ossoff's bill does, but doesn't go as far. So another proposal to curb Congress trades, the Ban Conflicted Trading Act, was introduced in the Senate in March by four Democratic senators, including Senator Jeff Merkley of Oregon and Ossoff's fellow Georgia freshman Raphael Warnock. It also has accompanying bipartisan House version backed by AOC and Roy, among other Democrats and Republicans. But the Ban Conflicted Trading Act would only ban trades by members of Congress and their senior staff, not spouses or families, so Paul Pelosi's stock picking would remain legal. So... Ossoff's bill goes further and essentially, in a roundabout way, goes after Nancy Pelosi's famous investor husband. This is something that I think uh, should be an obvious to pass, but you're not going to get the support either. Uh, definitely not with, with re uh, Republican senators. No, you know what you need to do if you want to really make this work and really sell it is put that video of her showing off her ice cream in her double fridge her industrial sized fridge when we first went into the pandemic and doing her let them eat cake bit that's how you sell it <clears throat> make that go viral y'all but democratic senators you know, a few will jump on board, obviously, Bernie Sanders, uh, Elizabeth Warren, a handful of others. But, I mean, they all were silent after, largely silent after Pelosi came out with their comments. But part of that, of course, is because they're Democrats. Technically, Kamala Harris should be jumping on board with this, too. Because she's always trying to say, I do progressive things. And then she keeps waffling. Um, if she expects to... Okay, so Biden said, I think Biden said at one point that he was going to only go for one term because they were trying to queue up Kamala. 
If she wants to be at all relatable, she needs to be pushing this legislation because this is the biggest one. A lot of people say Medicare for all is the biggest legislation that we're trying to get through. It's not. Getting money out of politics is the biggest legislation that we need to get through because it blocks every other piece of legislation we try and get through. That's not going to come out against their own in most cases, but this is a glaring issue that needs to be addressed, and it's good to see Asaf here uh, with one of the bills addressing this. And just to credit Asaf, because he's somebody that when he, you know, came out of nowhere a few years ago, running for a different position, he just seemed like your standard, you know, Clinton-style Democrat, was very, uh, seemed very pro-corporate, average, you know, run-of-the-mill, milk-toast Democrat. But since then, he's actually done some pretty good things, including this as well, the Solar Energy Manufacturing for America Act, which uh, incentivizes manufacturing of solar energy panels. And this actually passed the House. Now, of course, it hasn't passed the Senate because... Democrats lack numbers there, but still, this is something that he has, you know, done in, in obviously helping to deal with the climate crisis. It's good to see that there. Yeah, didn't he? Wasn't he running for Congress at one point in um, kind of like an Atlanta suburb? And I, I, am I thinking of the same dude? Uh, I think it was him. And uh, the GOP came after him with like uh, various footage from his social media where he was like singing and. Uh, you know, for, like college singing, doing karaoke or something. And he also had like a video of pretending to be a Jedi and stuff. They actually made him look fun and relatable. And they were trying to come after him for being young. They, they pulled like college videos on that kid. I mean, he's not a kid, but let's be real. He's definitely becoming a man now, right? He's doing a good job. There is, you know, another potentially good senator here in the Democratic Party, which is hard to find. There are not many of them, but it's good to see Asif and Warnock, by the way, also has been fairly solid this entire time. I think part of it as well, especially as it pertains to this uh, this new bill, is the fact that Asif and Warnock replaced um, Kelly Leffler and, uh, and I'm forgetting his name now, uh, David Perdue, mm -hmm. who were uh, accused of insider trading. So having, having both... You know, stuff. And they were running. Oh gosh, David! When when we were walking out there, they flood up because, you know, obviously I'm watching local news and shit while I was out there in the hotel, isolated in my room, because we, you know, we could not have anybody in our rooms. We had very specific COVID procedures to stay safe. We had to social distance. Um. So when we watched the news, the news was flooded with um, campaign commercials and the the stuff they were running against Ossoff and Warnock the stuff against Warnock was super racist, the stuff against Ossoff was super anti-Semitic because I believe he is Jewish, they like in, they enlarged his nose in, in um, the commercials they did against him and uh, for Warnock they darkened his skin. Uh, it was it was some pretty white supremacist bullshit that they were running against these guys. Warnock have their own bills banning that kind of work, banning insider trading. Uh, shows, you know, where part of that motivation is for sure. But at the same time, even if they're motivated because of that, regardless, it's a great bill. And it's a great... It's a great initiative that hopefully we will see more support for, but that remains to be seen. Wow. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. I'm, gosh, these things are so hard to close, you guys.